Well, Roger, we had a quitter. Trump's players may have to have a blood transfusion for their lips. You notice Jeff has been called upon more and more to uh, relieve chops back there. I would like to take one moment before we close this. I do this each year, and I do this because I think probably there are people in the audience who have no idea who some of these guys and gals are, and I would like for you to know. I would like to introduce them to you individually, across the front, going from your right to your left, like stand up when I get to you. First of all, our lead tenor player is a young lady, and she is a senior. I call her Benny Goodman, but her name is really Jenny Wilson. Yeah. Second alto player has been with the band on another instrument, had the privilege of playing, uh, was it North Beach Breakdown with Dennis de Blasio blowing Barry Sachs in his ear, an experience no one will ever forget. So Bruce Leipzig, so second alto. Elite Alto is Ben Kessler. I said earlier in the room that it's, there's a, a toss-up between two or three guys who the most approved player in the room is, and Ben certainly is one of those. He had big shoes to fill, and he filled them. Elite Alto, Ben Kessler. <laughs> Our flautists, I should tell you they're great. The three people that I've introduced to you are all seniors. Our flautist is a sophomore, and uh, she is playing on the electrified flute. And I apologize earlier in the program, I had no idea, but Mr. Luderman came back and said, my gosh, she's louder than the entire band. But Heidi, we heard you play. Heidi Wilkin. <laughs> Second tenor is a junior. Uh, Mike Boyer auditioned on, in fact, a whole bunch of these people auditioned on alto and not wound up in various places, but Mike wound up on tenor and is working his way off at to get on alto next year. Junior, Mike Boyer. And Barry Sachs player, who you've heard intermittently throughout the year. By the way, Mike sold in the last two that didn't get introduced at the same time, so I'm, I'm glad I got to introduce him. My Barry Sachs player is a sophomore. He auditioned on tenor and was unhappy about playing Barry, but we're not unhappy that he had to play Barry because he did great at it. Dave Bedwell. <laughs> the trombone section from your right to your left. First, late Matt. No, I'm just kidding, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> It's a little inside thing. Matt Hellegas. Matt's a senior. He sometimes plays lead trombone in the section, and you will get to hear him solo in about one minute when I get done with this. Matt Hellegas, who is a senior. Our most of the time, lead trombone, who is also a senior, and you've already heard him solo. And uh, he is a man of a lot of words, and we've harassed him about enough about that now because he doesn't need words. He can say it right through the mouthpiece of a trombone. Logan York. Drum major, one of them of the Big Orange Pride. I don't know what that's got to do with anything, but it seemed like a neat thing to say about him because he is. Third trombone, the junior, Marcus Hardy. <laughs> and the B trombonist is also a junior, and this man is crazy. You got to hear him play, and you tell him he is crazy, and he's a great bass trombone player. He'll probably lead next year. Chris Kaiser, he's a junior. <laughs> the trumpet, from your far right to your left. On second trumpet, he's standing on the end. I don't know why they're in this order right now. It must be what we're about to do. I understand. Ty Randall. Ty is a senior. He was our second trumpet player, and you got to hear Ty solo earlier. Ty Randall. <laughs> Next to Ty, uh, uh, Luby is our fourth trumpet player. No, wait a minute. Luby is our third trumpet player. They're all out of order, so I can't do this very well. Uh, a junior, our third trumpet player, Mike Luby. Now, that's the now I can do it. Standing next to Luby is Ty, and then Luby is on the other side of Ty now. Two guys split the lead. You've heard from both of them throughout the evening, and I'm giving them this little time. Hopefully the blood will run back into their face after what we've done to them tonight. First of all, both of them are seniors, and they'll be a real loss, but somehow we'll get over this. Keith York, who you just heard from. He's a and his cohort, Rod Pittenger. I don't have all the information to give you all the future statistics on each of these members. I do know these guys' future statistics. Keith is going to Huntington College. Am I right, Keith? And Rod is going to Ball State University. He's going to replace Jeff. Is that right? <laughs> Finally, our fourth trumpet player on this end is a junior, Mark klein -Eiden. Fourth trumpet, Mark klein -Eiden. The rhythm section, we split the piano, the piano uh, duties here about equally, as a matter of fact, and you've heard one name a lot, and you haven't heard the other one, and I should have just introduced her in the last tune because she was a soloist. First pianist, our first pianist I'm going to introduce is a junior, Nicole Shannonette. <laughs> Nicole is another crazy woman. She plays a mean maraca too, you know what I mean? <laughs> 
on the pianist right here is a sophomore, Andy Bipke. On guitar, the most controversial member of the band, according to the teachers, after we did the assembly for the student body, I got such great comments as, my God, I didn't know he could do anything. Or, if you had only knew, I wasn't that bad DJ, I'm just kidding. But I did get something about it. If he worked that hard in English, he would be getting A's in here. But our guitarist, wonderful player, BJ Hope. Our drummer. It don't get better. I really mean this. I introduced him this way yesterday. I haven't done this a lot all year, but Nick is a tremendous drummer who receives little credit for his efforts. The thing you notice is the band's always good. The time's always good. The style's always right. And he just soloed for you a little bit. The most underrated drummer in the state of Indiana. And I wouldn't trade it for any other drummer in the state of Indiana. Nick Dugan, stand up. <laughs> and finally, our MVP award winner. This guy was the guy that nobody, everybody said he'll never replace. So, you know, we had a whole string of bass players there. And Chris had big shoes to fill. Actually, I think Brad did wear about a size 14 <laughs> shoe, if I'm not mistaken, and I don't know what Pat Lawrence wore, but he's done a heck of a job. He's he's just improved immensely. He's the, the band uh, comic relief when we need that. This is the man we turn to, and uh, we turn to him often, and he gives us comic relief whether we turn to him or not. Uh, but here he is, Chris Pacho. Our man. If we've got the chops to do this for you, we're going to close now. I'm not going to introduce the solos because I've had you here long. I've been a great